Good morning YouTube, it's Monday morning and I decided that this week I want to film every single day and show you how I'm carrying my gun that day so that by the end of the week when I release this video you'll have a week's worth of ideas and a glimpse into how I carry my gun day to day because it does change. I wear different outfits every day so I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today just so you know what I'm starting with today on Monday. So I've got these fancy little slippers on. It's so cold. We got back from Florida last night and getting back to the cold has been a little bit of an adjustment. But I'm wearing a white bodysuit with a pair of jeans and this is my starting point. I have a lot of options with something like this because it's so cold out right now that I'm going to be wearing layers. So I'm going to be wearing a coat, maybe a sweater on top and a coat. So this allows for a lot of different things but we'll see what I end up with. Every morning I like to start my day off with a cup of coffee. I found this really cute mug at a local store. I just love a positive mug. So I'm going to finish my coffee and then we're going to get dressed to head to the grocery store. Okay, update. I just filled coffee on my white bodysuit. So thankfully I actually have two of these bodysuits because I love it so much that I ended up buying a second one. So I have another one upstairs. I'm going to go change and put that one on because this is just unacceptable. And I think I have a stain somewhere here too from a previous. Yeah, see white is just really difficult, but I love the way it looks. So we're just going to go change. See that? The stain is magically gone. <laughs> <laughs> These bodysuits are actually from Amazon, but they're really good quality. It's like a very thick material. I'll link it below in case you guys want to check them out. I have them in white and black, and I might get the beige color. We'll see. For those of you who may not know, my everyday carry gun is a Shield Plus, so that's what I'm going to be carrying. Unless I decide to carry a smaller gun one of the days, we'll see, but I usually carry a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. All right, let's check the weather and see how cold it's going to be. It's 23 right now and it's gonna be about 27 so i probably need a coat okay regardless of my holster i usually have my extra magazine in a neomag which is this clip here so i don't have to have it on my waistline it's just a magnet so that's gonna go right in my pocket the clip stays out there's my extra magazine because i have to wear a long coat today because it's cold out this goes all the way down to here and carrying on my waistline is a little difficult with something like this. So I'm gonna use my Yukoala bag as a crossbody bag and strap it around my leg to help the draw. I've done a full review of this bag if you wanna check it out. So my gun is right in this pocket here and if I need to draw, I can just take it out of the open pocket in the back. And there it is. I'm also going to grab a pepper spray on my way out the door. This is just my favorite palm pepper spray that I can clip. It's good to have multiple options because the correct response might not always be lethal force. You want to have a non-lethal option on your body too. All right, baby. Um, how are you carrying your gun today? Tell us a little about your holster. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm carrying a Glock 42 and it's sitting on a pancake or a belt slide. Got the 8 plus 1 in there. I'm loaded with Precision One 90 grain hollow points. Beautiful. What Have you done anything to this to modify it? Oh yeah, all, everything I own. Tell through. us about it. What did you do? I melt some spots in my holster all the time. Every single holster I own, yeah. my duty holster. The idea is that you know when you, when you grab the gun and your index finger is kind of feeling for those melted spots, when the gun comes out, your finger is going straight down the firearm. Because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be like this. You don't want it to be like this. You want to basically be able to point your finger at your target and pull the trigger and be real close. So what I do is I melt spots in my holsters to kind of make sure that my finger is not up here, not down here, so it's it's right there. Just pause to enjoy how cute Mila is in front of the wood stove. Okay, very nice. And then on this side, I got a 10 round Pro Mag. I'll tell you this, Pro Mags are generally very bad magazines and I would almost always not recommend them but for this Glock 42 for some reason this Pro Mag hmm. has been very reliable and I've tested it a lot to make sure that I would use it but that is not a recommendation for anyone else to buy Pro Mags but this particular 10 round Pro Mag has been very good for me mm -hmm. and then I got my CRKT bear claw scary that's what I always have it's always where it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and you know I got my palm very nice. Palm pepper spray. Spider Co. Utility knife. Yep. And how about that fancy sweatshirt you have on? I wear this a lot. 
little flashlight. I link my merch store below, guys, if you want to get any um, hats I'm or I'm starting to sweatshirt. beat the hell out of it. Like, it's that means you to, wear it a lot. That's a good thing. A I, like I might need like a rougher Carhartt style <laughs> sheep or sweatshirt. Uh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Tuesday now. And today I have a pretty casual work day, just doing some administrative stuff on my computer in my office most of the day. But I do have to walk the dog first because if Mila does not get a walk, she is a crazy person. So I decided that I'm gonna go with leggings for today's walk and I'm just gonna show you how I'm carrying on my dog walk today. It's actually pretty nice out. Hold on, I think she's at the door. There she is, hey girl. Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> I know. Okay, so hold on, Mila. We have to show our concealment first. So I'm wearing these green leggings and this top that I think I got at Old Navy a while ago. Um, and since I'm wearing leggings and kind of a shorter top, I can't really do a belly band unless I wear it inside, and I don't really love to do that. <laughs> See what I mean? She needs a walk. All right, so I'm carrying in my ultimate... I know, I know you need a walk, huh? I shouldn't have said the word because you know what it means. Well, can you let me show my holster real quick? <laughs> oh boy, if any of you have an energetic dog, you know the struggle. So this is one of my favorite holsters and I really like that you can attach it to your pants without needing a belt. And that's because of this clip. It's called a fabric clip. So if I take it off, to take it off, you just bend it forward from the top and unhook the bottom. And then the whole thing comes out. So this is what it looks like. This is by Ultimate Holsters, and I will link this below in case you guys want to check it out. All these holsters will be linked below if you guys want to check them out. Um, but I'm carrying my M&P Shield in this holster. And the back is flat, and I really like that. I don't like holsters that wrap all the way around your gun like this in the same shape of your gun. I like the ones that are flat in the back just because it's much more comfortable to wear all day. So the holster goes inside the waistband of my pants and then the outside of the clip stays out like that. And then I just have to bend the top and it clips to the fabric of my pants. You have to have a pretty robust waistband to keep this up. So this is nice and tight and these are actually really high-waisted leggings. So that shouldn't move at all and that's just how that sits in there and then my top goes over it and then I'm just gonna wear a vest over this because like I said it's actually kind of nice out today and that means that it's like 40 40 something degrees hello can I help you can I help you we're gonna take a nice long walk to get some energy out before I can actually get to work because if I don't take her for a walk she's not gonna let me focus I also have my palm pepper spray just clipped to the outside of my vest I love these because they have this clip and you can literally just clip them anywhere. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, go ahead. I am not a good bird photographer <laughs> or videographer. There he is. Where'd he go? Hold on. There he is flying up in that little tree. That's the Massachusetts state bird, the black capped chickadee. There's two of them. Hang out. So the other day, Mila brought her frisbee into the woods because she loves to carry around her frisbee. And she took off after something and dropped it somewhere. And I have no idea where it is. I have like a general idea of where she might have dropped it. But now we don't have a frisbee and she loves her frisbee. So I'm going to see if I can find it whilst we're in here. Unfortunately, we did not find her frisbee but I will find it someday, I'm very determined. But now that we're home, I'm gonna make her breakfast. She won't eat before she exerts all her energy in the morning, so I'm making her breakfast now and I'll show you guys how I make her breakfast. I'm actually gonna do a whole video about the raw diet because that's how I feed her and a lot of you have had questions about it over the last few years, so in April, it'll be two years that we've had her and she's been on the raw diet the whole time, so I'm gonna do a whole video about it, but I'm just gonna show you real quick how I throw together a quick breakfast for her. If raw meat grosses you out, then don't watch this. So basically the first thing you want is protein. So I'm gonna give her some of this chicken. It's just raw chicken thigh. When I made bone broth last week, I just tore off some meat off the bones that was left. So I give her that too. So there's her protein. And then I'm gonna throw a couple carrots in there. Those were also in the bone broth and she likes carrots. 
and they're really good for her. I also have some gizzards I'm gonna throw in just as an added treat. And then, so she's got her protein, she's got a little bit of vegetable, and then she needs some bone in her diet. I think it's like 30% of her meal has to be bone. So I'm gonna throw in a drumstick. And then just a little bit of organ meat, and today that's gonna be beef kidney. So she actually doesn't like this, but I try to mix it in so that she'll eat it because it's good for her. There's a little bit of kidney. She really likes tripe. It's just I haven't gotten my shipment yet from Chewy, so we're giving her kidney today. And then a little bit of cod liver oil. And then I also like to throw a sardine in there maybe like two or three times a week in her food. She really likes sardines and the omega-3s are really good for her. So there's a little bit of sardine. And hopefully the sardine flavor on top of the kidney will make her eat it. Usually I'll give her an egg in the morning too, but this is a lot, so I'll probably throw that in with her dinner tonight. And she eats outside because she takes stuff out of her bowl and I don't want raw meat on my floor, so sit. Good girl, leave it. Okay. goes so raw bone is actually very good for their teeth if you give them cooked bones they could splinter and cause problems in their bodies but when she chews on this raw bone it helps to clean her teeth and if you see her teeth they are pristine no tooth problems yet I'm hoping that continues for the remainder of her life can you see those chompers They're so pretty um, but this diet has been working great for her so far she's super healthy super shiny She's a good weight, she's very athletic and energetic, and her teeth are amazing. So we're really happy with the raw diet so far. Hopefully that'll continue for the rest of her long, long life. When she was a puppy, I'd have to hold the bones because she would just swallow the entire thing. So I'd hold it and then she'd chew it as I was holding it, but now she's learned that she needs to chew it up pretty good before she swallows it. Clean plate club. Good girl. How are you carrying today, babe? We're on the way to Max Every class. time I try to do a I demo. Know. <laughs> she wants to be in the video. Can I just do this real quick and then I'll get back to you? So sweetie. pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I have my duty gun mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go teach a class right now. So I forget what, who makes this rig, but it's just a, a Kydex belt slide or pancake. I got my little points I always melt in so that it's like a little home home spot for my index finger on the draw. So I'm carrying my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 9 4 inch <laughs> barrel. There's a lot going on with that. Mm. Uh, my palm, my Spyderco, my flashlight, my extra mag, which is a 17 rounder. Mm -hmm. It makes it grip a little bit bigger. And my bear claw. Nice. Thank you. Another day, another dog walk. I'm out here walking the dog. And it's not even that warm. I'm wearing mittens, but the sun's shining, so it feels really nice. And uh, I'm carrying a gun on me, obviously, so I wanted to show you how I'm carrying. And I just wore Mila out a little bit with her tennis ball, so I'm going to actually put you down on this nice tree stump and show you how I'm carrying. All right. So I'm wearing a long coat and that can be a challenge when you're carrying on your waist. So I like to leave the bottom open. This has buttons and a zipper. So I could button these and then just rip it open if I needed to, but I just left the bottom half open so that I can get to my gun, which is sitting on my waist in these, <laughs> the weird angle, in these leggings by Alexo Athletica. So I decided to carry the Ruger today. Sometimes, like, you know, you're feeling a little bloated. You don't want to carry a big gun. So I went with a small gun today. Um, but it's in these leggings. And I put a card in here just to protect the trigger. There's a pocket in the front that you can slide something into to protect your trigger. I've got my pepper spray here. And then I just leave the bottom half of my coat open so if I need to, I can get to my gun. 
through my long coat. Um, so I love these leggings. I wear them all the time. I love that they have the side pockets so I can put my phone in here, which is what I was doing before I recorded this. And then I've got the pepper spray, my gun right here. So these leggings are awesome. I will definitely link them below. Uh, I wear them all the time. If I'm too lazy to like figure out a holster, I'll just throw on these leggings because I love wearing leggings anyway and I can wear them with a lot of different tops. So this is just my little winter trick for long coats. I'll either just leave the bottom half open or I'll just use the buttons and not the zipper on the inside. All right, let's continue our walk. Mila, come. Come on, let's go. I also just want to share since we're walking that Mac and I have been watching this show called The Chosen and it is so good. It's all about uh, Jesus' disciples and the way he chose them and then his story and it's going to be told over seven seasons so we're currently on season two and they're collecting funds to create the following season. So they've funded up to I think season four as of right now. So the creators of the show, they're not funded by some like huge production company that you've heard of. So they're raising money to continue to produce the show and it's amazing. So if you guys haven't seen The Chosen, it's actually free. You can get The Chosen app on your phone and then you can stream it to your TV, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that I could just stream to my Fire Stick, but you can do that. So you can just get the app on your phone and then stream the episodes to your TV and it's totally free but they are raising money so if you do want to donate some money so they can keep making the show that would be awesome but definitely check it out it's so good and it's just such a good portrayal of Jesus from what I've seen so far and from what I've read in the Bible so check it out it's really interesting to see the disciples stories as well and how this producer is interpreting it all and even if you're not a Christian um, but you're interested in learning about the history of it all, it's a really good show. I think it's really interesting. Mac really likes it. Um, so, highly recommend. Where did my dog go? You know, Mila is a super high energy dog. So, before I walk her, I like to throw her ball at her frisbee for like 20 minutes so she can just get out a ton of energy and listen better on her walks. I'm so out of breath. But even when we do that, she still just like has so much energy. Let me know in the comments if you have a high energy dog or have had experience with them because she's super lovable, but she has so much energy. It's hard to keep up with her. Morning guys, I'm really excited because today I'm gonna to be visiting a friend and I haven't seen her in quite a while. She's actually my cousin, but we grew up together and we've been best friends forever. So I'm gonna go visit her and I'm really excited. So let me just show you my outfit today so you can see what I'm starting with. I don't normally wear pink, but I'm kind of liking this light pink here. So I'm wearing a tank top with these leggings underneath. These are not concealed carry leggings. I actually kind of wish I wore my concealed carry leggings, but I decided to just go with a regular pair of leggings and um, I'm gonna wear some sort of boots, but this is my starting point. This shirt is pretty flowy in front, so that makes concealment really easy because I have this space here. So I think I'm gonna go with a belly band today because I like to wear them over leggings and it's just a comfortable way for me to carry. I don't always know how I'm gonna carry on a certain day. I try things out. so. The first one I'm trying out today is this belly band by Tactica Defense Fashion, and it's actually a slim band. So this is a band going around here, and the gun is in a Kydex holster. And I don't normally wear this, but I figured I'd give it a try today since I have so much room up front, and it conceals really well from the side because of all the room I have here. But I feel like it's just weighing down and it's not super comfortable. So I'm not gonna carry in this today. Let me just take it off to show you. I love that it has a Kydex shell here, but it's just not gonna work out today. So this is what that looks like. So that's gonna be a no. I think I'm just gonna switch to my trusty Can Can Concealment belly band, which is this. This is my favorite. I carry in this so much. This is probably the thing I carry in the most. People ask me, and sometimes until I do these videos where it's like, how are you carrying today? I don't really notice what I carry the most, but 
but I'd say I carry the most in this, so. All right, so then I'm just gonna lower it. And I like to have it a little off center. Here's the center of the band. I have it a little off center so I can hide the grip of my gun better because that's the hardest thing to conceal. <clears throat> so it has a strap, you can open the pocket and then slip your gun into it. I'm just gonna move it a little more to the side. Don't mind this behind me. <laughs> um, we were doing some arts and crafts, but there it is. Throw the shirt over. And I put my palm pepper spray in this pocket right here. And then you can see the barrel sticks out. It almost sticks out just a little bit from the bottom. It's pretty close. If I reach up, you can see it, but I'm just gonna put a sweater on top. And that should solve that problem. It's cold anyway. I mean, it's not freezing, but it's definitely sweater weather still. And that hides the whole thing. I love this sweater. It's by Eddie Bauer, but I got it at Marshall's. So, super warm sweater. I love it. Leggings, and I'm um, just going to throw a pair of boots on, and let's go. I'm also bringing her some bone broth that I made. It's just frozen spots. Um, I froze it like this in like the sheets, and it's actually really easy to store that way. So she's been feeling a little under the weather lately. So I'm bringing her some bone broth, hopefully to help her gut health a little bit. Um, but bone broth is so easy to make. I've been on like a bone broth kick lately. I've made a ton of venison bone broth, and then chicken bone broth from like a, like a rotisserie chicken carcass. <laughs> Um, it's super easy and it's really good for you. So I'm gonna bring her this as well. If you carry a gun, there's a good chance that a lot of people in your life might not agree with or understand your perspective on firearms and personal protection. And um, a lot of my friends are that way. They don't seem to mind that I carry, but they just don't feel the need to do so themselves. So whenever I go out with a friend and I know that they're not carrying or have any sort of defensive mindset I definitely feel a responsibility to be sure that I'm prepared both mentally and with the right tools so that if something happened while I was with that person I'd be able to respond if I needed to and that doesn't mean that I'll be successful but at least I'll have a fighting chance I really value my friends I value human life and the people that I love so I like to be prepared in case something does happen even if I know they're not of the same mindset so just because people don't agree with you or share your perspective doesn't mean you shouldn't be friends with them or maintain those friendships unless it's like a toxic situation that's different but I like to maintain my friendships as best as I can and just be able to be a sheepdog if you will which is something I do talk about in the Armed and Confident Academy. We talk about mindset and um, what that all means when you're carrying a gun for personal protection. So if you haven't checked out my Armed and Confident Academy online course, I'll link that information below. But I'm just gonna keep driving now so that I can get there safely. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna film at all while I'm there, probably not, because I haven't seen her in forever and we have a lot of catching up to do. But I'll see you guys later. Hey guys. So today I'm actually headed to a ladies only event at a gun club here in Massachusetts and it's being put on by the Mass Women Gun Owners. If you are a female in Massachusetts and you're into guns or you want to learn more about guns or you want to talk to other women who are into guns, then check out the Mass Women Gun Owners Facebook group. It's a really cool group with a ton of members. Um, and they do events like this every once in a while, so I'm really excited to be going to this one today. I'm not looking at you guys. You probably can't tell because I'm wearing glasses, but I'm driving, so I'm not going to be looking at you. But I'm going to that event today. I'm bringing a ton of my holsters to do a bit of a show and tell. I'll just have my holsters available like on a table if people want to come check them out or ask me about them or try them on. So I'm excited to go because you guys know I love talking about this stuff. And my sister's also coming, so I'm really excited to see Marianne there. That'll be fun. Um, and just a bunch of other women I haven't seen in a while. There's supposed to be a pretty good turnout, so it should be fun. There's going to be food, and there's a range downstairs where people can shoot, and then upstairs is like a classroom type... Why is it so dark? Like a classroom type open area, which is where I'll be... Um, 
So yeah, that's where I'm headed. I'll show you my concealment for today while I'm there. I can't show you right now, obviously, but I'm carrying in my Can Can Concealment Classic Hip Hugger, which I was like really in a hurry when I was leaving the house. And this is one of my favorite holsters to just throw on when I'm in a rush and need to rush out the door because it works with pretty much almost every outfit and it's just really easy and I don't really have to think about it. So that's what I'm carrying in. Yeah, it should be fun. So I'm gonna get back to driving and I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys there. So it's at Worcester Pistol and Rifle, which ironically is not in Worcester. It's actually in Boylston, Mass. And so that should be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. from the ladies only event. It was a lot of fun. I actually got to meet some of my subscribers there which was really cool to meet you guys in person and my sister came and she brought some of her holsters so it was cool to get a lot of women who had questions and wanted to try on the holsters and learn more about the different kinds of holsters. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I just want to show you my outfit and how I carried today. So I'm just wearing my She Equips Herself sweatshirt and a pair of jeans and I decided to wear my belly band today by Can Can Concealment which is one of my favorite holsters. I've been wearing it a lot over my pants instead of underneath uh, because it's more comfortable for me that way. So I have my shield here on the right side, my extra magazine on my left side and I have it in there with a Neo Mag. I'll just show you. I could put an extra magazine in that pocket without a Neo Mag and it would just hang out in there like that. but. It can move around, so I'd rather have the Neo Mag in there just to hold it in place better. It's just a magnet that clips on, and then the clip stays out. You can use that in a pocket or something, but I like to use it in belly bands and my corset holster as well. And then I just have my palm pepper spray here and my pocket knife as well. So I went with the belly band today because for one thing, I knew people would be asking me how I like to carry, and this is one of my favorites, so I had it on just so I could show them. And it's really easy for me to just lift up my one layer and show them the entire belly band, rather than having a holster that's in my pants where I can't really show them what's going on. So it's just a really comfortable holster. I love this one. And like I mentioned, it's by Can Can Concealment. This is just the classic hip hugger holster, and I believe this is a size small. I'm five foot two and about 110 pounds, so this is one of my favorites. And that's how I carry today. Oh, excuse me, I was just enjoying my beverage out of my new mug. <laughs> how are you carrying today, babe? Well, I'm carrying a little different today, if you can take a look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every, every time. time. Every time. I'm sorry. Every time we go to film. I'm sorry. I gotta pay more attention to she, right Yeah. All right, so. What is that? So this is the Ruger LCP Max with a holster my father made. <laughs> Seemed to work better than the holster they gave me. Uh, so I got that in the pocket holster, flashlight, palm, knife, extra 13 round mag, uh, 12 round mag, 12 round mag. And, and I'm carrying with the 12 in here as well. Mm -hmm. You can't buy that holster on Amazon. No. <laughs> it's vintage. Pretty good. Stays in the right. pocket. Yeah, it actually does. It does better than the holster that comes with the gun. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I don't think anyone would ever notice. Nope. That doesn't look like a gun. Huh, looks like a wallet or something. This gun is slowly growing on me. We'll see. Yeah, so, I carried it the other day too. It's, it's worming its way into my. Yeah, it works into sometimes. Into my heart. <laughs> what do you think, Mila? Come up here. How are you carrying today, Mila? Oh, get up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> let go. Hey, let go. Let go. 
Oh boy. Hopefully you guys liked this video and it was helpful in giving you some ideas of ways to carry your gun. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment below if you stayed all the way to the end and let me know you're still here. I'm including links to pretty much everything I mentioned down below in the description, so please make sure you check that out if you want to know more about some of these holsters and products I talk about. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye!